Having walked into bat at 95 for 3 in the 12th over on a slow sluggish track in Chennai on a sultry afternoon, A.B. de Villiers did what only he could – take the pitch out of the equation. ABD played his trademark 360 cricket, leaving KKR's bowlers listless. His knock of 76 not out included 9 fours and 3 towering sixes. His 76 not out of 34 propelled RCB to a colossal 204 for 4 in the first innings, a target that proved to be too much for the KKR. Chasing 222 against Punjab in match 4, RR captain Sanju Samson put on display a classic Samson knock, filled with luscious strokes. He came into bat at 0 for 1 in the very first over and took the attack to Punjab's bowlers right from the word go, lighting up the 1k day with 12 fours and 7 sixes. Sanju brought about his third IPL century en route which he also brought RR within touching distance of a spectacular win against the Punjab Kings, where he fell trying to score 5 off the last ball. Prithvi Shaw was at his fluid best as DC set out to chase 155 versus the KKR. Shaw kickstarted the chase with 6 4s in the chase's very first over from Shivam Mavi. Shaw's knock that included 11 4s and 3 6s pushed KKR on the defensive, a mode they just could not recover from, as DC walked the chase, winning the game by 7 wickets with 21 balls to spare. Tyron Pollard pulled one out from the top drawer in IPL's El Clasico as Mumbai gunned down 219 versus the CSK. Having walked into bat at 81 for 3 in the 10th over with an ever-creeping required run rate, Pollard fired on all cylinders, hitting 8 sixes and 6 fours en route his 87 not out while driving Mumbai home. Languid, elegant and full of flair, Devdutt Padikal's maiden IPL century was all that and more, as he rendered RR's bowlers clueless. Chasing 178 at the 1K day, Padikal looked fluent in his stroke play as Virat Kohli played second fiddle at the other end. The result? RCB completed the chase in cruise control, winning the game by 10 wickets and with 21 balls to spare. <laughs>